favorite part of the week. I cannot wait to start live. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> live Wire's back. Tell a friend. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to NYWC Live Wire. I actually remained... I, I looked up what episode number we're up to. This is number 16 episode no, really. of Live Wire. We've got a big show tonight. It's our award ceremony, you know. You know, screw the Oscars, the Golden Globes. This is the award show people are talking about. Of course. And, of course, Psycho Circus was this past Saturday, and we got plenty to talk about there. So why don't we get this link tweeted out, Brian? Yeah, give it up, man. Give it up. All right, baby. Why don't we get the? Uh, why don't we get that going on here? So, Brian, as you were saying before the we came on the air here, Alex Smith to the Kansas City Chiefs. You know what? Uh, immediately, uh, you know, when, when we started, I was like, you know what, Jason, congratulations, you got Alex Smith. And you know what? I, I think that's huge for the Chiefs. It's funny. JT Kaysen immediately tweeted to me like this afternoon that I must be ecstatic. Yeah. So I'm tweeting out that link, Brian. Go ahead and uh, retweet that if you feel like. Thank you for joining us, of course. I am the like, NYWC obligation. sign guy. I'm the NYWC sign guy, Jason Linick. Not dressed in normal NYWC sign guy gear. I'm sporting my brand new official Victor Cruz t-shirt, which I picked up at Psycho Circus. We're going to get to that. You can follow me on Twitter, at NYWC underscore sign guy. I'm just five followers away from the big 200. Come on. You don't have 200 yet? No! It's a it's a goddamn travesty. Oh, so, that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm the sign guy. Join alongside, of course, the patriot backstabbing, jet hating man himself, the NYWC <laughs> Hibroski, who you can follow on Twitter via his new Twitter handle at NYWC underscore Hibroski. Well, let me tell you, I, I change teams more times in the NFL than anyone I know. I I, I still don't have a favorite team this year. So if you if want you me on team, the bandwagon, let me know. <laughs> Use the hashtag Hibroski team and let us know what team Brian should root for this year in the NFL. Or, or Team Hibroski, whichever one team works. Team Hibroski, whichever we'll, one we'll works for up. you. Shout out already to BMONTV123 saying, hashtag push Victor Cruz, buy the t shirt. I know I he bought a Victor Cruz. Did you see those kendo stick shots? Oh, oh those were God. sick. Tip oh of the hat to Victor God. Cruz. But you know what? We're going to get to that. As always, shout out to everybody for tuning in. And Brian, of course, I think the. The bigger shout out has to go to HPK Fan Twenty Five. Oh yeah. Just wait for it. Wait, wait for, for it. it. Wait for it. Shaboom! There it is. <laughs> the NYWC Livewire Awards logo. Oh shit! I thought it was HPK gonna do something else. HBK fan twenty five using the hashtag Team Hibroski says Green Bay Packers. All right, all right. We'll, we'll see. I'll put that into consideration. Anyone else have any uh, teams you want me to bandwagon on? Any other suggestions? Go ahead, right on over. But Brian, I think, like I said oh, at the top, you. before we thank you, Victor Cruz, who's uh, plugging our show on Facebook right now. Oh, beautiful. Good evening to you, Victor Cruz. Buy oh, the T-shirt. I wore it to the gym this week. That's right. I go to the gym. Wait, what? <laughs> I wore this to the gym over the weekend. After I got it, I wore it to the gym. But, uh, I'm oh. assuming you took it off before your workout, though. What? No. You, you Who? worked out in that shirt. Yes. I don't know. I mean, that's a little disrespectful in my eyes. What? No. you, you got to get the promotion on. Come on. This rock-hard physique does not get accomplished overnight, bro. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's time to move on to the award show that everybody's been talking about. Screw the Golden Globes. Screw, you know, the Emmys, Oscars. This one, I'm Fuck surprised. The Oscars. We're... Fuck the Oscars. That's what I said. Oh, HBKFan25 says, tell him not to break his neck when he jumps on the bandwagon. Hashtag <laughs> Team Hibroski. <laughs> you know what? It, it might be a little high of a jump, right? I've been working out. I've been losing weight. So I think I can get over that hump. So I think my neck will be fine. I don't think it's going to fall. Fair enough. So we are going to start off our awards tonight with the award for Best Sign. So this, I guess, is an award I will accept. Your nominees were Hello Crusher, Crusher Brown, and Monkeys on the Bed. And your winner... Hello Crusher. Well, amazing. Uh, amazing. That sign, it, it took a lot of beatings 
it, it's uh, it's seen better days. It has seen better days, as have all of my signs. We're going to talk about yeah. my signs when we get oh, on here. We, we should have like a 10-minute segment or something just for your signs. We will. Maybe not, I don't have them on me right now. They're still in my car. But wow. uh, shout out Jumbo Man is here right now. Hashtag Jumbo, Jumbo Man. Man. So then moving right along to our biggest surprise category. Again, your nominees okay. were Order of the Black kicking out Mikey Whipwreck, Ryan Rush fading to black, and Brian Vitko becoming NYWC commissioner. And the winner was Order of the Black kicks out Mikey Whipwreck. I will say though, it's where where is the uh da da? Where's that sound effect? Oh, hold on. Um, that, that's, there we go. That's the one that should be played when we on to the winner. However, Brian, I think it's worth noting that only by two votes, Ryan Rush fade to black lost. Mr. Vitko becoming commissioner got zero votes. Oh, that's some disrespect zero. Right there. I'm sorry, boss. Zero. Come on, NYWC. Didn't he put on a great Psycho Circus this past Saturday? I and he gets so. zero votes? No love for Mr. Vitko. Then, in best tag team, there was a lot of categories for this one. There was a lot of people nominated because more teams were added as it was announced. So your nominees were Reckless and Wasted, Beaver Boys, Big Game Smith James and Bill Carr, Rex Lawless, DJ Fat Pat, and Francis Kiplin Stevens, and Style and Finesse. And your winner was... Reckless and Wasted. There we go. In a landslide victory with 13 votes. In second place, you had Beaver Boys with five. Big Game Smith James and Bill Carr had four. Rex Lawless alone had two votes. Kim oh had had. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Style and Finesse actually zero votes. For how the hell does Rex Lawless come from the tag team? I don't know. Rex Lawless is that badass that he can handle this alone. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of about Rex, I was going to save this a little later, but he wants to be on the show, so we will book him a little later. Fair enough. We will be having Rex Lawless in the future. Shout out to Robert Lottie who's tuning in who wants us to talk about NYWC booking a bigger venue for Psycho Circus. We're going to get to Psycho Circus. We haven't even touched that yet. Yeah, we haven't even started. Calm down, Robert. Calm down. We're announcing our awards. Calm this is a down. big deal. This is a big Easy, deal. big man. So then in our best newcomer Ooh. best newcomer your nominees were Alvin Alvarez The Big O, Jesse Vane and Chakara's Jolly Roger and your wow. winner was... Big O. <laughs> he's a champion. I have to he, go. He's the champion. Alvin. He got 13 votes. Alvin had two. Newcomer Jesse Vane had four. So kudos to him. Go ahead Twitter is break the news on him too. Twitter is blowing up right now. Jesse Vane is a future guest here on this show. That's right. I'm awesome like that. What up? Jumbo Man marking out for the sound effects. He's loving that. <laughs> Have another drink, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, apparently. And Larry Legend is here. Larry Legend tuning in. Thanks for the tune in, Larry. Great job this past Saturday at the Psycho Circus. He says he's sorry he couldn't announce Big Game Smith James and Bill Carr as the Waves. It got vetoed. However, Larry, I will notice, and we'll jump to it briefly one second. You took my nickname for Victor Cruz by calling him the Diamond in the Rough. I love it. Yeah, that was great. Love it. If you're wondering where that came from, all me, baby. Diamond in the rough, Victor Cruz. Uh, uh, quick question, Larry. Um, why was it Vito? By any, I'm just curious. You know, I don't really care. I, I appreciate you giving me the uh, the legendary you know sign of approval on that, but uh, I was just curious. Moving right along. Of course. In best match, Ooh. your nominees were Stockade Nice for the Fusion title. Nice Lethal 2, no. Alvarez Rush 1, and Beaver Boys versus the Bateria. And your winner was... Stockade Nice for the Fusion title. <laughs> was there somebody at the door? What happened there? <laughs> I don't know what that did. I was kidding. Nice Lethal had 8 votes, so a close race there. Beaver Boys Bateria only had 2. Hmm. I'm a little surprised by that. Well, I then think we run along after Psycho Circus. I mean, a lot of these will be changed. Oh yeah, looking looking.
looking ahead to the year, a lot of things can happen. Then oh, moving yeah. on to our best guest category, which was most sought after, I have to say, by anybody that wanted to be voted for this. Dave and Brandon, who were just on the show a few weeks ago, wanted to be nominated for this. And indeed they are in our nominees. So your nominees <laughs> were The Big Dog Forge, The Uninvited, Victor Cruz, Big O, Brandon and Dave from Arkin Out, and Alvin Alvarez. And your winner was... The Big Dog Forge. <laughs> yeah, so Big Dog Forge was your winner. However, Victor Cruz had seven votes, Big O with six, Brandon had four, Dave and Alvin both had one. Wow. And Larry Legend says he thinks they want to come up creatively really? from like a promo or an incident rather than fans. So, fair enough. Thank you, okay. Larry. Then, it's in the little, award that I think, whatever. Yeah, in it's the in the fair. award that I, in in the main event award, best host. I, I don't even need to look at the results. Your yeah. best host was I'm, uh, doing my point right now. Not a problem. I'll tell you. And the winner, and the winner of best host was actually no. Me. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You done? I had fourteen votes. I had fourteen votes. Brian had one, two. Yes. If you count the fact that the Livewire page voted for him by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, I am the better of the two hosts, and that is your NYWC Live Oil Awards. Thank you, everybody, for voting, being a part of it. That was great. And now we move on to the uh, the main course, so to speak, the Psycho Circus. Oh, my goodness. Uh, if you were at Psycho Circus and did not have a good time, let me know. I'm going to crack you over the head with a kendo stick next time I see you. Yeah, you're, you're going to get a Victor Cruz style. But uh, oh, yeah. anyway, I, I think we need to start off by saying the weather was absolutely horrible. Oh my god, it was hideous. It was awful. Most people waited in their car until about 5.15 or so when we yeah. actually started lining up. And I will say, I showed up with a megaphone to start things off. And nobody seemed enthused. I was out there shouting into my megaphone and everybody was just kind of like, yay. <laughs> That's so true. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't put my boobas out of the because it it didn't you know seem good because no one really listened. I mean, yeah, we don't get a lot of viewers, but I mean, come on. I mean, it's fucking psycho circus. At least seem enthused, douchebags. The uninvited Victor Cruz, the diamond in the rough, has joined Livewire. Good evening, Victor Cruz. Liar Legend wants to call in. What do you think? Brian? I think Brian's dead. Brian? Anyway, so Brian is gone. I'm going to try inviting him back in, but we're going to keep rolling along. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter. Mainly, I check my Twitter during the show, so that's the Twitter account you'll want to get it into. But like we were saying, I was out there with my megaphone trying to get the crowd right up. The weather was bad, but it didn't matter. We were ready for a really hot show. Doors open at 530, and that place jammed like... Ugh, like a clown car. So many people poured into the sportatorium, but a great job by Curse at the front door, maintaining order with bracelets, tickets. The whole thing went very smoothly. A very good situation. Brian seems to be trying to come back in. Brian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brian.
Brian's network is down. So Brian is going to be gone for the time being. Anyway, so like I said, kudos to them. And there was just NYWC stars all over the place getting ready for the show. It was 5.30, so if you had pre-ordered tickets, you got in early. For those of you who didn't pre-order, you were standing outside, such as Robert Lottie. I'm very surprised you did not pre-order your ticket, Rob. So give me a minute. We're going to try and uh, get Larry in here, believe that or not. So I'm trying to get Larry in here to talk about some Psycho Circus. We uh we lost Brian. I'm gonna keep trying to invite Brian, so we'll see how that goes. Guess I'll keep trying to invite Brian in the meantime. But yeah, you had Slop Hunters, not Slop Hunters, Beaver Boys out there doing their thing. Papa Don was out there selling some merchandise. Surprisingly enough, Victor Cruz was not selling his T-shirt. I mean, it was at the table, so I obviously seen it. And I picked one up, so. Pick up the Victor Cruz t-shirt at Aftermath. We're going to get to Aftermath here. But Psycho Circus, great opening video package. The crowd was hot. It was standing room only. All the seats were filled. Mark and Out got there a little late, so they were standing. I ended up talking to them a little later on. And it was just chaos. The show started off with the Battle Royal. We're going to, of course, I have to send a shout out to Artie and Scott who are tuning in. 3BS audio systems supplying your sound. And it was a great sound. Larry had no problems with the mic and that's what we love to see. Forget about where's Trent, where's Brian. Shout out to v 123 And yeah, 3BS supplying the audio. Like I said, great video package. Things started up with your Joker's Wild Battle Royal. The Dirty Rednecks making their return along with the great Bambino, C.J. Antonino, along with Brady Knight, King Mega. Larry's working on joining us, so Larry, keep on coming. I'm waiting for you to come in, because obviously Brian's not here, so what a legendary show it would be to have us on here together. Shout out, Jumbo Man says he'll be in Atlantic City, so whoever needs tickets, hit up Jumbo Man, go to the Ozone Militia page, hit him up there. People are texting, tweeting, so keep it on coming. Joker's Wild Battle Royale. I keep getting distracted. It came down to, I believe, Brayden Knight, the one-man militia, Matt and Justice, newcomer Jesse Vane was in there, and at the end of it all, Jesse Vane is your winner of the Joker's Wild Battle Royale in a stunning, I guess you could call it an upset. Jesse is very new to the scene, and I was picking Brayden Knight. I think a lot of people had picked Brayden Knight to win this thing. I'm trying to remember back to what Brian had said last week. My pick was not Jesse Vane. However, kudos. Congratulations, man. You're a newcomer on the scene. Always love seeing new people get a chance. That's what NYWC is all about. So congratulations. Let me know what you guys thought of the opening match. I think it was a great opening contest. Then, again, my match order is a little fuzzy here. I did watch Robert's video. Robert Lottie, you can go over to the NYWC message board. He posted his video about it. I believe the next match was your number one contender's tag team, as Larry would say, extravaganza, as the team of DJ Fat Pat and Francis Kiplin Stevens went up against Big Game Smith James and Bill Carr, who also went up against... Wow, the third team was blanking on me. Who was the third team in that match? Somebody help me out here. Why was it? It wasn't Style and Finesse. Who was the third team? Hmm. Well, whatever. Bill Game, Big Game Smith James and Bill Carr were your winners in this match and became your NYWC Tag Team Champion number one contenders. So, something we've been ranting and raving and talking about. Oh, 
Reckless and Wasted, JT Kaysen, and new member Bryce Young. Thank you, B1 to B123. I knew I was going to remember that. They came out with beer hats. Bryce Young, a little new to the scene as well. You know, he's just starting out just like Jesse Vane. He'll get into the swing of things. He'll get into the spirit of Reckless and Wasted, but he put on a good show. But like I said, the team of Big Game Smith, James, and Bill Carr, somebody we've always been talking about on this show, finally getting their well-deserved tag team title opportunity, which, spoiler alert, is going to come later on in the night as we moved right along into, the, I believe the next match was for the tag team titles as Beaver Boys went up against the visiting team of Sexy, Chucky e. T, and Jigsaw from Chikara, Beaver Boys, and Chucky e. T. What a great match. This was an awesome match. A lot of great spots. Larry is still working on the connection. Uh, just a great match. If you've never seen Chikara before, this was great. I loved it. My Twitter is blowing up. Sorry again. I'm trying. I'm struggling here because I don't have Brian. So I'm trying to remember all this because it was so crazy. And then... A great match. But then, Brian Vitko, your NYWC commissioner, comes out after a hard-fought victory and announces that right now, the NYWC tag team titles are going to be on the line again against the new number one contenders, Big Game, Smith James, and Bill Carr, who come out like hellfire and pretty much take Alex Reynolds completely out of the equation, isolating Johnny Silver after a long-fought match against Chucky e. T and Jigsaw, and they end up just steamrolling, I guess you could say. Just bottom line destruction, which has been their M.O. since the beginning. And there it was, new NYWC Tag Team Champions, Big Game Smith James and Bill Carr. Just not the match I was expecting. I don't think the match anybody else was expecting. I'm hoping... Well, wait a minute. Dave? What's going on? Are you invading my hangout, Dave? I guess so. Am I actually on? Yeah, you're actually on. Hold on. This, so, I can't do it this way. We, we're, we're talking about Psycho Circus. I think circus. so. Yeah, you're oh, on. Oh. Mute your screen. Hold on, I gotta pause it. I, I, have you, I have you talking in the background. Exactly. Mute. Hold on. Alright, much better. So, we're talking, we're, we're up to the tag team title match. What's today. up? What's up, Dave? Dave from Marking Out. Oh. You can't follow Dave on Twitter because he doesn't have a Twitter. Dave, we are up to the tag team title match at Psycho Circus. And, yeah, so what did you think up to the tag team title match? What did you think of Psycho Circus? Up to the tag team title You're match. Huge. Chris Sweendog wants on. Chris, hop on. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pause you somewhere. But yeah, go to the YouTube page, click mute. It's okay if the video plays, just no sound, because then it gets confusing. Yeah, you're talking a lot. Hold on. <laughs> Set this thing up. Oh. <laughs> so see, you lose one host and you gain two. Well, gain another. I I, I shouldn't say well, is, two. Is Chris coming on? I don't I know. I told him to create a I told him to create a Google Plus account. But as we speak, Larry is trying to join the hangout. So ah, Chris, cool. Yeah, exactly. I didn't realize you could just openly come into the show like this. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. I was just clicking around and figured I'll click hangout, and here I am. Bingo. Well, I'm not saying you're not welcome. You're always welcome. So well, thank you. Like I yeah. said. Where I just talked about Bill Game, Bill Game, Bill Carr and Smith James winning the tag team titles. I already talked about Jesse Vane winning the Joker's Wild. But up into Big Game, Smith James and Bill Carr winning, what are your thoughts on Psycho Circus? I thought Circus was a lot of fun. It was very eventful. Um, the, the crowd loved it. I don't think there was a slow part to the entire event. No, I, I believe after the tag titles, we had our fusion title match as the returning Plasma, a.k.a. Trent Beretta, went one-on-one -on -one with Tony Nese, a match that definitely delivered, hands down, awesome. Oh, I know for a fact, I know a few people on my podcast want to say that that's probably a match of the year. So just that, that alone I, says a lot about it. 
I would say that's going to make a very strong candidate for match of the year, definitely. Tony Nese retaining the title, but the question now remains, is Plasma going to be coming back to NYWC more, or have we seen the last of Trent Barretta? I could see him coming back here and there. I don't know how much he's going to be staying around, though, because for some reason I feel, did he wrestle at PWG yet or no? I don't think he has. All right, so I feel like once he does that, maybe he'll stick around on the West Coast a little bit. Who knows, maybe Ring of Honor will give him a call. Well, now Brian's calling in. <laughs> Brian, you're missing quite an eventful show. Dave has invaded Livewire. The invasion. Yeah. Okay, so what did I miss? Well, we just talked about Tony Nese defeating Trent Barretta. We also talked about the Joker's Wild Battle Royal with Jesse Vane picking up the win. And we also talked about the tag titles changing hands after a successful defension by Beaver Boys. What about the Harlem Shake that they okay. had going? So where are we up to now? Oh, yes, the Harlem Shake. Yes, loved the Harlem Shake. That was a lot of fun. That was very... I, I want to try to get Mark and out to do one, but I think I'm the only one that wants to actually do it. So, I, I would join in. So now we're going to move on to the three-way dance between the returning Mike Mondo, Greek God Papadon, and the new effing show, Jerry Lynn, who, by the way, signed my hat. That's cool. Nice. So the hat is officially retired, just like Jerry Lynn. A Don't great... Worry. Don't wear it too much, though. You want to you want to keep that in good condition. Well, yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna wear it pretty much any time but the show. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a new red hat. So the match was fantastic. I thought, however, I thought it was a little anticlimactic to pop it on, beat him with a brain buster. Yeah. Um, I I thought the ending was fine. I thought it was kind of a surprise. I don't think many people expected uh, uh, Jerry Lynn to actually lose the match. Would and I I like that. But yeah, I mean, I, I had no problem with Papadon winning the match. I just thought the ending was very anticlimactic. Um, and, uh, exactly. What do, you, what do you mean by that? I don't know. I, I just feel like that there should have been some huge, like, boom finish, and all it was was, like, a suplex. Well, Brain Buster uh, isn't just a yeah, suplex. No, well, yeah, no, Brain Buster is not just a suplex. Hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen. Could it be? Oh, shit. The legendary one himself, Larry Legend. Larry, good evening to you. Good evening to you as well, signed guy in YWC. What's up, Larry? What's going on? Marking out. Yeah, Marking out has invaded the show. Okay. We've got you. Brian is gone. What is up, Larry? We are, of course, talking about Psycho Circus. I'm joined by Human Tornado, if you guys don't know who that is. That's the Human Tornado. You got two for one right now. Oh, no, shit. I, I, I do not, but welcome I can, to I can the get show. Brandon on. I, I think Brandon's got bowling. It's a thing, I'll let you go. I'll try to fix my network. All right, Brian, you, you, you get back quick. I'll try. All right, Larry, so we're talking Psycho Circus. We're talking you were the man in the middle of it all. Okay, give me a second here. Because we're talking Psycho Circus. Hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> you were the man in the middle of it all, Larry. What were your thoughts? I thought it was a fantastic psycho circus. I got to tell you, it wasn't my first time at the at the rodeo, so to speak. So I, I thought it went very, very smooth uh, based off of past years where I sort of lost my shit, just getting caught up in the whole, like, you know, big, big show atmosphere of it. I felt like that I actually paced myself really well, and I was doing that on purpose because I knew I wanted to give Jerry, Jerry Lynn a nice send-off. So, um, yeah. you know, um, I, I felt like for me the show went really well and it had the huge feel and the big crowd and I thought that it was like flawless execution by everybody, really. I gotta was, agree. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think all the fans appreciated everything that was put on in that ring uh, as well. I agree. There was a lot of people. Oh, the, the place was packed. We were just saying, I thought the ending to the whole three-way dance was a little anticlimactic. A simple brain buster defeats Jerry Lynn? Come on. Yeah, and we had normally seen Papa Don try to finish a lot of people off with a, a pile driver, which, uh, you know, it was fun seeing Punk do the pile driver on Raw recently. I don't know oh, why he was... Oh, that was sick. The <laughs> what? That was sick. Yeah, Lawler I went off. I for that one. 
you could hear Lawler and Michael Cole marking out too. You could hear it in their voices. They were like, "Holy shit, a pile driver!" Honestly, I feel like you haven't like by taking it away for so long and then bringing it back. Everybody just just marked out for that one move. Yeah, you could hear it in the crowd. You could hear a collective gasp in the crowd that like, "Oh my god, he just did the pile driver!" The, you know? while, simul while simultaneously Vince McMahon shit his pants. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still not. I, I still not convinced that that wasn't planned. They're they're too. I don't know. They're too smart. Yeah, but that's that. Those were my thoughts on Psycho Circus. I I um. Yeah, it was kind of an anticlimactic, uh, you know, sunset for Jerry Lynn, but it was a great match. Like so, you know. I don't know. Maybe not what everyone was expecting to see. I hear a lot of people on the social networks are shitting all over in YWC because uh you know Lynn lost the match. Like I this was just brought to my attention today that there are rival promotions that are saying like, oh how dare in YWC you know have Lynn lose his last match on the East Coast. Like what kind of promotion are you? I don't think that's a bad thing and I'm sure that Jerry Lynn would agree to it if it wasn't okay with it. Like if he yeah. wasn't okay with it, he wouldn't have agreed with it. I mean I'd rather go to an event where I know that where I don't know Jerry Lynn's gonna be guaranteed a victory. Oh, I completely agree. I, I I mean I think that um you know as a ring announcer, Jason, I don't know if you uh, are with me on this, but uh, the, the uh, least amount of stuff that I know in regards to finishes and you know whatever is agreed to in the back, the better. Because the, yeah. that, that makes that makes it real for us. You know, you're really getting our reaction when you know niece hits you know Big O with a fucking chair. You know, like I don't want to be a, I don't want to be in on that. You know, so. exactly. I, I know in the past when I've announced, they only tell me the lineup. I don't know finishes. Right, so. and that's that's the way that it should be because you can hear it. You know, in our voices and convey it to the audience that oh shit, this wasn't supposed to like or what the fuck even Larry's going off over here. You know, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you my motherfucking name was Cujo. <laughs> so, as I was saying, and Larry just brought it up actually, that uh, Tony Nese turning at the end of that whole thing, what do you guys think? Did you, I mean, Larry obviously said he didn't see it coming, but, but what do you think? I think this thing's pretty sick on my head. <laughs> now we're just getting to the power hour. <laughs> I had to install the plugin. I've never used this video chat through. Oh, God. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Well, what's wrong with you? I don't want to see that type of shit. <laughs> Super Dragon? Super Dragon? Hey, check it out. I got some cake. <laughs> Alright, the show is going to shambles. Let's stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target! Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, Jason. Go ahead. No, it's quite alright. Tony Nese turning at the end... And I just, I, I can't believe it. And then he tells the fans to fuck themselves. So Yeah, the, the language I thought was pretty surprising. The language I thought was quite surprising that he used. Um, I am somewhat distracted over here in my home. It, it, it's quite all right. We, uh... uh, uh out, of the, out of the normally... I thought the heel turn was actually really good. Out, out of the normally clean cut Anthony Nice for him to go off like that, I just showed, I thought was a total lack of class. But I guess, you know, drastic times call for drastic measures. I, I guess so. And, you know, a lot of big spots throughout that. I, I like the heel turn. I think it's going <laughs> to. You look like Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Come on, Dave. So I think a lot of big spots in that match. And honestly, I don't know if you guys agree oh. with me, but during the Psycho Circus match, I feel like Alvin was focusing more on Crusher and Victor than anything else. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Here's a little, here's a little something um, that I know from past Psycho Circuses. Uh, at every Psycho Circus, and I don't know if this is the same at Cage of Death, but at every Psycho Circus, the person who's in the circus for the first time, you know, they usually get 
really tenderized, if you know what I mean. It's sort of, it's like kind of a, a welcoming, like a sort of welcoming party to the NYWC for like, you know, the, the fresh meats, so to speak. So if I were Alvin Alvarez, I probably would have focused more on Victor Cruz and fucking Crusher Dugan so that I wasn't like in the line of fire, so to speak, from for what you sort of opened yourself up to when you were in the middle of the ring. Because Psycho exactly. Circus is like like anything goes. I remember a couple years back, Damon, Damon Crowley's first Psycho Circus. Oh, he was lumped up at the end of that shit. Same thing with Rex Lawless, his first Psycho Circus. So I bet you anything, uh, Alvin sort of was like, you know, this is a very dangerous thing. I am in my first year. Let me pick my battles, and I'll focus on these guys on the outside, which was, wasn't a bad you know, thing, I think. I was actually surprised that with uh, Rush. I, I wasn't expecting him to be the first one eliminated. Yeah, no, definitely a, definitely a surprise with that. And I think Victor took a lot of bumps. I mean, immediately from the opening of this match, Rex Lawless was bleeding like crazy. Yeah, Stockade took a page out of Masada's book with those skewers, those bamboo skewers, by shoving those things right in the top of uh, Rex Lawless's cranium. I tried to get some good media of that on the iPad, but it was like shit was happening so fast that like all the pictures were blurred and it was just, I couldn't get a good shot of that. But uh, yeah, Rex oh, Lawless was in it to win it. Did you see that Tope Con Hilo that he did? Like out of nowhere? I don't know how the, to turn uh, this off. That's what you get. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't figure this out. Come on, Dave. You're, you're throwing the show off track, Dave. But yeah, not only did you have Rex Lawless take all that, Victor Cruz taking the, the cane shots to the head, and then we had a bowling ball in there. I I would say it's, it was probably better than last year's circus. What do you guys think? To be honest, I don't remember last year's circus. I just have a bad memory. Yep, so... So then, I mean, obviously, I this it goes without better, saying, yeah. this year's was better. Yeah. Um, it was highly entertaining. They had every, they, they had the tables breaking. They had a, a steel cage involved. They had a little bit of everything for everybody. Yeah, they definitely did. And then, um, Larry, I wanted to get your thoughts. What do you think about um, Beaver Boys successfully retaining and then immediately being forced to defend the titles again only to lose them in the same night? Sorry. And now, Chris <laughs> from Martin has joined the show. So with no Brian, I have gained three other co-hosts. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Now we got a party. Larry's shown pictures of Legends of Zelda. Chris, are you there? <laughs> Say things. Use words. I can't hear you. Now you can hear me. There you go. Chris, we're talking Psycho Circus. We pretty much ran down the whole thing. Why don't you give us your thoughts? Um, let's see. Trent Nice was awesome. Hands down, that was my favorite match of the night. Um, I've been watching the whole show. Uh, the Jigsaw... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not used to doing this with, with uh, screens and stuff like that. I'm used to just talking to Dave over Skype, by the way, MarkingOut.com. Um, yes, follow them on Twitter, at MarkingOut. Buy a t-shirt while you're at it. Yeah, please do buy a t-shirt. I don't know who Dave's talking to. He's probably talking to Brandon. And uh, tweet to Morgan out. Tell them you want more sign guy. Yeah. No, we'll get that going. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I thought the Jigsaw Chuck Taylor Beaver Boys match was great. I liked. I liked that comedic style wrestling. I thought the yeah. split drag that they used was hilarious. But what did you think about them being forced to defend the titles immediately afterwards, only to lose them? I just threw the question to Larry. Can you? I, I mean, I wanted Bill Carr and Smith James to get a title shot, but this soon, and they win it. It's effed up, man. It's well, you know, up. you know, uh, it's the unpredictability of it all. You know, uh, just like uh, with Rush being eliminated first in the actual Psycho Circus. It's like, you know, you wouldn't expect that to happen. So I think the choice to have Bill Carr and Smith James come out there and just ruin the parade, that makes them, you know, the waves. The waves. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think the, it's actually uh, great that they... Uh, had the shot. Oh, I think it was great that they finally earned it, but now they're the new champion, so problem solved. I'm, I'm hey, fine we'll by it. I mean, I love their – I've been raving about them on our podcast, marketout.com. I've been raving about them. I'm 
from their promos just trashing about the tag current state of the tag teams and everything. I am full. I am a big supporter of Carr and James. Plus, plus their music's hate breed. You can't go wrong with that. I love all. their music. I'm I'm trying to figure out a really good way to announce them with that music. That's uh. That music is my style of announcing. Like, I give Masada always a real legendary announcement based off his theme, so I enjoy their theme as well. Awesome, awesome. Um, what else is there to say? Jesse Vane, are you guys surprised that Jesse Vane wins your Joker's Wild Battle Royal? Not really, because in the he was put over pretty big time in the last uh Okay, wait a minute. Last, uh, Surpri if surprise, surprise that Jesse Vane won. How about surprise that King Mega lost? Okay, yeah. how about that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, King Mega was, uh, he was promising big things, and he ended up losing, so. But, I mean, but did you hear the noticeable reaction from the crowd when Mega was eliminated? It was like, oh, Mega loses. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Mega. <laughs> you know. They're absolutely. It should have played The Price is Right. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking Brayden Knight was going to win. Now that he's without JT Kaysen on his side, I'm expecting big things for Brayden. Not the case tonight. I was thinking the same thing, too. I was also thinking that Matt Justice was going to win it. Yeah. yeah, because just because the because Marty Bell's interference at the end of it, I thought it was interesting. So, plus, yeah, gotta give um, it up to Thresh Justice. I I believe a match I failed to mention was your three way for the Starlet title between. It was Nikki not a three way. It was a Menage a Trois. Yeah. 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 When, when you get Ricky Cataldo, are you guys lagging a lot? Okay. No, no, I think it might just be you, Dave. Yeah, Dave, get off the uh, the Mac One and uh, update your software there, bud. But as I was saying, the menage a trois between Marty Bell, former Starlet champion Nikki Adams, and current champion Rick Cataldo, I think definitely delivered. And I just want to see Nikki Adams and Cataldo one on one. Well, I mean, I would I wouldn't mind seeing you know Nikki Adams one on one with it. With anyone, quite frankly, you know, she has really turned it around for herself, so to speak. Did you did you look at her tan and her body? Like she, I mean, Brittany who is what I was saying, you know, in regards <laughs> to the to our Starlets division, because she I looks think, really good. I think so. Nikki has definitely changed a lot in the past year. She looks great, and she looks great in the ring too. So, kudos to her for doing all sorts of hard work. She must be on her A game, looking to get that Starlet title back. Yeah. Hey, man, like brother. I wouldn't mind seeing Nick, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Nikki and and Marty go at it for you know, you know the better part of a year. Quite frankly, I bet you we could see a lot of good shit out of those two. Yeah, but I I know you had teased it on Twitter, Larry. Why don't we get a Starlet Street fight up in here? Oh yeah, I want to see the claws come out. I don't think the conditions on uh, Saturday night were fitting for anybody to have a. A parking lot battle royal. <laughs> well, no, but I'm talking about we can bring the weapons indoor if we did like a, some sort of a starlet, you know, like, notice. Like, you know, like, like the old No Mercy on the N64, like some shit Aww. like that with the trash cans and, you know, she whips her into the door. And, you exactly. Know, Thank you, Larry. And, and old Memphis shit, some old, you know, that old down south, like rolling around. You know, I'd love to see those two girls go at it like that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. See, Larry knows what's going on. So, any more thoughts on Psycho Circus? Because now we have just a, a little under a month away until NYWC Aftermath, which will be at the Sportatorium March 30th. Certainly a lot of things coming off of this show. I would expect the tag titles to be up for grabs. But now who goes up for the title? Does Apollyon get his rematch? Oh, obligatory. Obligatory, like I would, I would, it would, he would be foolish not to do that right at aftermath. You know, he held it for like how many days was it? Four hundred and yeah, it was over a year. Yeah, so Something I like mean, that. so that has to be more. Than this is a big deal. Yeah, this is a big. Yeah, this is a big deal. So. No, I agree. Um, I think he deserves his rematch. By the way, I didn't get to talk about it. The knees heel turn at the end was a fucking amazing. Yeah, we, 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 didn't turn, we didn't talk about that at all. Let, let's go back to that for a minute. I didn't see it coming at all. I don't know if anybody else did. And it was, to, to steal a line from Larry, it was legendary. 
Well, did you hear the did you hear the way that I closed up that that hood edition of Connected that I just posted on the Facebook and the YouTube's? Uh, I don't think I did. No. Oh yeah, I, I I believe I did see that, and you I believe you said oh shit or something like that. I believe that I closed it out with oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah, you were pretty uh pretty animated about it too. So. Yeah. Well, no. I I couldn't believe my eyes. My I couldn't believe it. Uh, it was great. I, I think it's been a long time coming. Clearly, Tony Nese has been living in the shadow of Big O for the better part of a year now. So, finally, well, uh, I think I think it's it goes without saying. Big O has a little bit more crowd support with that Ozone Militia thing that's going on. Like everyone, black and yellow, it don't lie, you know. So people are yeah, buying, no, you know. I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty sure the Victor Cruz Mohawk Nation has more support than Tony Nese. It felt so good to call him the diamond in the rough in the ring. I, I, I and by the really... way, you are welcome for that nickname, Larry. Yeah, well, sign guy, I got news for you. I got news for you. Okay. Uh, aftermath, I'm in the driver's seat. But the month after that, in April, I don't even know what the show is called. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your return. <sighs> oh, my God. Breaking news on live wire, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking Damn return. Damn roasted. Yeah. What's the name of the show? Why doesn't why don't we look that up? It's called NYWC Bam Rusted, didn't you know? I, I think it might be April Rain, I think. Oh, uh, that sounds yes. about right. The purple show. Yes. Well no, I I think Fusion was the purple show. Unless you want to do purple rain. I see where you're going with that. Uh, I can remember an April Rain or two with the purple font when we advertised it a year ago or so. No, no, red. You're right. April April rain, bloody red, yeah. That'll be uh, April 27th, the date you're referring to, April Rain. That's right. You're, you're, you're the man. You're the man now, dog. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, am I the only one that picked up the new Victor Cruz t-shirt? I have, t -shirt? like, everybody talking at once because I'm lagging so bad right now. <laughs> I know. You haven't said anything in forever, Dave. I feel like I'm tripping on shrooms or some shit. No. No, you haven't. Never taken shrooms before, Dave. At no least clue what you just said. Yeah, because everybody's talking over each other. Yeah, the, uh, the Twitter fear is exploding with the amount of star power that is gathered in one Google Hangout right now. I know. Look at this. Now we just need Brandon on the show now, too. It'll be a complete marking out. Robert takeover. Lottie. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Robert I, Lottie. Speaking of Lottie, I'll bring up two points. One, my megaphone was better than Lottie's. And two, oh, I did want to mention, what did you guys think of my Volvo Zella? Awesome. I'm kind of mad. That was like, awesome. I thought it was a didgeridoo. I was going to bring mine. Although, yeah, Chris had a didgeridoo. You want to see it? Hold on. You want to see it? Yeah, go ahead. The, uh, the, little, the little kids in the front row in front of me were really pissed at my horn. Nice didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. Hold on. I can't hear you guys. But, yeah, it's right here. That's beautiful. Yeah, I would play it, but my, my wife's is sleeping in the next room, and I want to wake her up. She has to be up at 5.30 in the morning. In particular, I like that whenever a new entrant into the uh, the Psycho Circus came, you would give it a big heave-ho side guy. It was like so WWE Royal Rumble. <laughs> That's what I was going for, Larry. You read my mind. Oh, no, I didn't. I just experienced the magic, my friend. <laughs> but, but now I have to ask the question, do I bring it to the next show? or is Absolutely. It is it a one-off deal? Do I stop doing it? Yes. Um, no. No. Bring, bring it. it, bring it, bring it, bring yeah, it. bring it, bring it, bring it. It's you. Yeah, bring that Fair shit. Fair enough. Lottie's yeah. got the megaphone. I've got the Vuvuzela. But speaking of Lottie, I did want to bring up the point. He had said at the beginning of the show, do you Who think Psycho Circus... Megaphone. Apparently Chris was ringing Brandon's Grogger. But anyway, yes, do you guys think... Time. Does Psycho Circus need to be in a bigger venue next year? Because think about how many people were standing. So it just makes you want to get tickets earlier then. So if you don't want to sit, I mean, if you don't want to stand, get tickets early. I had no problem with, with standing the entire time just because. No, no, but, but, but thank you now. This, this was the 11th year of the Psycho Circus. I, I, I actually like standing. D does it have to move on? I think NYWC has outgrown that venue as far as the Psycho Circus is concerned. Well, where, where else would they have it? I don't know. Is the um, Larry? Do you know where FTW where else does their would shows? Where though? At least on Long Island. Where else? Where, where FTW does their shows in Ronkonkoma? Is that bigger or smaller than the Sportatorium? At 
the, hold on. Let me just let you know that at the end of the day, all we're talking about is budget, and the more in-house that NYWC can be, the better it is. So yes. there, it's just going to be in the sportatorium. True, and, but... and that gives it that feel. That gives it that feel. That's why the first footage I put up was of just the the massive looking amount of people when actually it was probably about three hundred. You know, but it looks when we're all on top of each other, it looks like more like five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that that place was packed. Yeah, and it, I didn't mind standing because that that whole event kept me on the edge of my seat that I didn't have. It, it wasn't as bad. As... <laughs> I felt it one. wasn't as bad as last year too because this year was a lot more. It wasn't as hot inside. Last year I think it was very hot, if I recall. And yeah, this time I think it was other... nice and cool, and it was yeah. it was a good event. Yeah, because the NYWC, the NYWC is not a fun place when it's sweltering. Yeah. No, as Larry would know, the aptly named event during the summer, Hotter Than Hell, has got to be Larry's favorite event. Oh, sure, yeah. I sure was. <laughs> wow, Jason, you bought a Victor Cruz t-shirt. I complimented him on it in the back. Well, yeah, I have to. We've been pushing Victor Cruz pretty much since day one on this show. It's about time he finally got a t-shirt. Let's push to get Brandon on this show, because he's texting me right now how much he loves Dave on the show. So, Brandon, you're watching, so come hang out with us. I know Brandon is watching. Dave already invaded the show. Can we go for five people at a time here? This is just mad. It, that's too much. That's too much of a we worldwide, extrava worldwide web extravaganza. Yeah. Yes. I would agree. It All sucks. Right. I can't really speak because I don't know when to speak. You're just, speaking right now. Get the floor. Just talk. I, I can't because everything that you're saying is like five minutes, is like three minutes before it actually uh, it actually happens on my screen. Are you on a mobile? Or are you like doing it like in the car? No, he's on his 1995 Dale Inspiron. <laughs> That's why I'm it's on, so lag. Yeah. <laughs> very, very old. Like, I'm on like a Gateway 2000 computer. <laughs> Dude, get a Dell. No, man. Max is the way to go. There you who, go. Who you telling? <laughs> yeah, true. I shouldn't be talking. Also, Larry, I have to commend you. There was no microphone issues all night. That was just fantastic. Um, Thanks very much so to the Artie from uh, 3B Entertainment. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know what? I'll, I'll tell you guys a little something. NYWC did not come on get that get that filthy cigarette out of here nywc uh they uh they were going to tell him don't use his own microphone because they were afraid that like you know in the heat of the uh battle maybe after tony nice got finished screaming he would throw that microphone down on the mat and um i assured Artie that i would watch it you know with my heart and make sure that it would not you know be damaged at all so a big shout out goes to him because and YWC management was going to say, don't use the microphone, just use the uh, speakers. And I'm well, glad that we got the uh, microphone in there, too. From me. During that, um, what was it, the, that Braden Knight, who, uh, Blake, what was that guy's name? Oh, uh, Blake Lawrence. Morris. Yeah, the, I saw the microphone, like, got dropped down. I saw Shane, like, trying, like, diving into the ring to grab the microphone. I thought it was interesting. Oh, was yeah. Like, no, I was the one. I thought that I was the one diving in there to get it. I think Shane dived in there to separate them. The first thing he did when he got in there was make sure that I could get the mic. But I was like on it like a hawk right at ringside because that was an a that mic was over a thousand dollars. A thousand. Wow. Dollars. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I had a couple of adult beverages that evening, so I may not recall everything verbatim. <laughs> well, you know, I was in the I was in the in the fire. You know, yeah, you were. I was in the I was in the oven there. <laughs> but uh, speaking of Blake Morris, where does he go from here now? I mean, put him in the ring with Braden Knight. I people. hate this slow computer. <laughs> Dave, uh, this is this is difficult. I think Larry's left us. No, Larry Legend gone? No, he's still there. Um, but yeah, no. As far as uh, Blake Morris, I oh. put him in a little feud with Braden Knight. Have them do something. I guess so. I want to know. We brought up on this show before. The white light Kieran had come back a couple months ago, and now he's gone again. What happened? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to make a series of YouTube videos looking for him until he eventually returns. I, I think that might be in line. Hashtag where's Dave. Yeah, hashtag where's Dave. Yes. yes. I don't know. Where'd Larry go? I don't know. There, there he is. is. Also, 
We didn't talk about it yet. I got to talk about myself here for a minute. What did you guys think of my new signs? I had all new signs at this show. The Boo Earns one you've had before, correct? No, they were all brand new. I've always talked about doing a Boo Earns, but I never did it. Okay, well, you know me. I'm a huge Simpsons fan, so that one I popped huge for. I knew somebody would appreciate it. Yes. Um, the, what was it, the Ghostbusters one with Crusher? Yeah. Good. Should have said, don't cross the streams underneath it. That's just nice. Oh, that would have been great. And the Angry Beavers one, as good as it was... Men do not like an angry beaver, Jason. No, I will concur with that. There is nothing good to come from an angry beaver. And I think I was screaming that out at one point in the evening, but bravo on all your signs. Thank you. Golf Thank clap. You. There you go. And Dave? Dave? I think Dave is frozen in time. No, he just, then he's like, yep, now he's going to start talking. I'm going to try to get on this. What, are you going to download the app on your phone? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. All right. But all in all, Psycho Circus, what do you give it? One, two, three. Uh, skip. Larry's gone. Thank you to Larry for hopping on. Follow Larry on Twitter at BLKLKP. All right. On, so a scale, on a scale of one to five, I would say 4.5. I would agree with you on that. I loved it. I thought it was a great show. Um, as I said, me skills hurt at the end. Loved it. Trent Peretta versus, uh, well, Trent, question mark, all caps, versus Anthony Nice, I think might be in the running for match of the year for me. That's what Dave was saying. I think it was definitely a match of the year candidate. It was great to see Trent Peretta back. We questioned Trent, whether question or not we were, Trent, question mark, or plasma. I made a welcome home plasma sign, so there. Yes, I saw that. Very simplistic, so, though. Your artistic, yeah. you know, your artistic uh, creations are better than that. Come on. Well, no, but come on, man. After drawing that angry beaver sign, what did you want from me? I don't know. Also, <laughs> I want to give the shout out to Victor Cruz. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, tweet over to Victor Cruz or message him on Facebook. You can order it via PayPal. Free shipping, people. Get yourself a Victor Cruz T-shirt. Hear that, Dave? Free. No, I can't hear that. All right. Um, but I would say 4.5. I think the only thing I was disappointed about was the ending of the three-way. I think Papadon winning with a Brain Buster was a really cheap way out. I don't think it was a cheap way out. It just it was unexpected to me. I was thinking that Jerry Lynn was going to go over, but it's fine with me. Jerry Lynn's a man. Larry pointed out the fact apparently some online wrestling websites were shitting all over NYWC for having Jerry Lynn lose. I'm trying to remember like a moment. You can never go wrong with the three-way. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of what match they sent somebody off with with losing. It was, it was a retirement match. I don't, can't remember at the moment. Oh, man. Fuck. Excuse my language, but I can't remember it. I'm sorry. NYWC Live Wire Nation. So, but... No, it's like all it. good. What was he trying... What are you trying to figure out? I was Like, triple threat matches where the guy who was on his, I guess you could say, retirement tour was the guy that... Lost. Lost? Yeah. There has to be something. We'll have to look it up and talk about I, it. I, I have to say right now, here comes Larry back. Yeah. Larry is back. I have to say, the fact that Brian is not here, this show completely turned around. This could have been a disaster, but I want to thank you guys for joining me in Brian's absence. You know what? I was going to go to bed. Did but... Yeah, it probably got a lot worse once I got on. Yeah, goodbye, Dave. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I was going to go to bed, and I saw the show, and I saw you were in trouble, so as wrestling fans, we have to unite. Uh, well, thank you. No problem. I'm talking to all of them. Well, yeah. Larry, what do you think? On a scale of one to five, how would you rate Psycho Circus this year? Oh, man, I'm a company line guy at the end of the day. I would say one, two, three, four, five stars, five yeah. stars, five stars, five stars, five stars from everyone at NYWC. Myself included. I, w I was feeling really good about myself after the show was over. I, I, as you should have been. I think the show went off without a hitch. People loved it. I think it was going to be one for the ages. And um, I, I got. Uh, I think it was great also that you see all the cameras that were around the ringside area, um, and that was for the NYWC. 
Psycho Circus 2013 edition DVD that will be released. Oh, whoa, whoa, God. whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes, Larry. Did you just drop a bombshell that we're going to be getting NYWC DVDs? I'm dropping bombs over Baghdad in the Bronx right now, and I'm telling you that there will be an NYWC Psycho Circus 11 DVD. That's why all those guys were around the ringside area. That's awesome. out my words. <laughs> <laughs> Well, kudos. Twitter is blowing up. People are psyched. And yeah. what, a great, what a great show to start DVDs at, Psycho Circus. Oh, yeah, the production quality looks like it's going to be right up there with RF or better. Uh, you know, so I'm happy. Yeah, so, And R RF isn't even the best out there, you know, but I'm, I'm happy. I like Smart Mark. They're pretty good. Smart, really... Mark, is, Smart Mark are some good people. They're, Smart they're really good. good. Brandon! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look, bro. Look, I, I don't think. See what I said? Wait. I think that I, I I don't even know what to think right now. Welcome, Brandon. <laughs> to Look, bro. Look. He's gonna get this is way He's too talking. much to handle, dude. My my <laughs> gateway my gateway two thousand cannot handle this kind of this momentum right now. There's two Brandons. What? No, it's because Brandon has issues with his camera. Brandon, can you function? <laughs> Brandon, say something. Brandon. Don't tell me we're going to have to make a Where's Brandon video. Well, now, I, I, his camera freezes. He, the last time he was on our show, he got booted like three different times. Oh, great. That's well, Brandon at least we can see him. We can see him, right? Yeah, I'm going to kick him out, though. <laughs> it's really, really nice Baba to boo, see Baba boo. <laughs> Brandon? Uh-oh. Yeah, he says it freezes. The, the the star power is overloading this house. Brandon, it's like the BWO. We're taking over. It's too much for the stratosphere of the internet, brother. It's yeah, too I... much, little dude, for the ionosphere of the internet, man. <laughs> I think brother. it might be. Sh shout out to Heel Franklin, who's tuning in, who wants to be part of the show. He'll be a future guest. The Twitter fear is bring them all on. I. I don't think we can handle this many people at once. Brian said he's trying to get back on the show. We're... Yeah, this is this is this shit's cray. This has got to be the most epic episode of Livewire ever. If people are missing Should this, be cray. My head's too big for that thing. Oh, Brandon's coming back in. Brandon's I want him in here. <laughs> yeah. I don't see him yet. The B to the G. Yeah. The B to the G. Oh, wait a minute. Whatever happened to Brian Evelyn? Brian texted me and said he's trying to get back in. He was having network issues, which is why he's gone to begin with. Poor boy, probably dead. All right, Brandon. Here he is. Brandon. How many people can you have on this? Oh, wait. Here comes Brian. And Brandon. <laughs> For the love of God, there are six people in the show. Welcome, everybody. Brandon. What up? What up? Brian has up? no audio. Dave is gone. I think Dave, yeah, Dave's right there. Brian, can you talk? Do you have audio? Should we all put on our lucha masks? Brian has no audio. Brandon, we've already run down Psycho Circus, but let me hear what you think. What did you think of Psycho Circus? It was a great show, five out of five. There you go. What are some of your <laughs> What are your, some of your highlights? We got lucha masks everywhere. Look at yep. this. <laughs> uh, some of my highlights: great match, Papadon, Mondo, Lynn. Uh, another great match, Nice and uh, Trent. Great match, Psycho Circus match, of course. Big O taking the championship. It was a really great card. Can't wait to see uh, more. Do you? Uh, were you surprised by the Nice heel turn? Uh, yeah, I was not expecting that at all. I was uh, very shocked. I, I kind of feel betrayed. Why do you feel betrayed? betrayed? I yeah, think it was I, a, I think it was great. Yeah, it was it was a great way to do it. You hear my voice crack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how'd that bar mitzvah go? What bar mitzvah? <laughs> With your voice cracking. 
Oh, hilarious. As I said to Larry, I think the year that Tony Nese basically lived in the shadow of Big O is finally over, and Tony Nese is going to take what's rightfully his, the NYWC Championship. I don't know, though. You got you got Tony Nese going yeah. after the NYWC Championship. You got Stockade going after the championship. Yeah, Stock, Stockade wants it, too. You got to believe Apollyon's going after the championship. And who's don't forget, to... I'm pretty sure Jesse Vane is going to take the Fusion title from Tony Nese. You think so? Uh, I think that's a good assumption. Brian has audio. I don't know. Yes. I would like I would like to see uh, Jesse Vane go after uh, tag team championships by himself. I would like to see him go after, <laughs> I don't know, why not dominate every division? You know, you got the chance. Why go not? Go after Cataldo. Yeah, oh, why not? Cataldo. Yeah, put on a wig. Good to go. And for uh, for Brandon, not, not for, yeah, for Brandon and Brian who are just joining us, Larry confirmed that April 27th, April Rain will be joined by yours truly, Sign Guy will make his announcing return April 27th. Yeah, so if anybody wants to miss a show, he can miss that one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, roaster. J- Jason, you know I love you. I love you guys too, man. I'm, I might go see the Rascals that day. Oh, yeah. The Rascals? Who? The, the Rascals? Are you kidding me? You don't know the Rascals? Stevie the Van Zandt. Rascals? No, Stevie Van Zandt reunited them. And you they're playing on Broadway like, with Buckwheat. Uh, no, like Alpha? Felix, Felix Cavallari. What? You know, like Bruven. Bruven, are you kidding me? Uh, I I also want to tell Brandon and Dave, you guys did not win the NYWC Livewire Award for best guess. I'm of sorry. Of course I won it. And Forge, I think I believe Forge shat all over me for voting for myself. <laughs> yeah, Forge basically <laughs> shit all over yourself because the only um, votes you had were for yourself. Larry's coming back into it. Brandon even used his other like little groups to vote for him. I, I'm yeah, very right. well aware of that. You know, you know, Brandon, Brandon has his own f- fan page on Facebook. Yeah, the, he has that the B the B to the G fan club, and then he has the rocking around the Christmas tree naked. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Brian, we haven't asked you about what you thought about Psycho Circus, and you're the main host of this show. We just have. Four whoa, other people whoa, 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 whoa. here. I'm a co-host and a backup at that. Let's just yeah, this because a, the people have spoken. Better. I am the better of the two hosts. That that's exactly my point. Psycho Circus was head to toe amazing. Simply Five stars. Phenomenal. Nothing could be. Five stars. Better. Yeah, Larry said it. Five stars. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Shit, yeah. I'll, I'll go out on a limb. Six stars. It was that damn good. Yeah, I, I think the one through five re- scale doesn't work. I think it has to be a one through ten. Well, then ten just... stars. Ten stars. Yeah. Stop. Screw that. <laughs> Eleven. Bro, you're going to one-up me here? Twelve stars. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can go, I can go all night. Numbers are un, un, unlimited. <laughs> okay, Brian, I have a question for you. Yes. So last week on NYWC Livewire, you said you didn't think that Trent would be in any sort of ring shape since his release from the WWE. Mm. Ooh, go um, out. Was, I don't know, did he look ring shape on, on Saturday? I forget. I don't know. Maybe he just had too many beers. <laughs> oh, bam, um, roasted. Oh, God. That, he looked all right. You know, I saw, you know, one, maybe two flaws throughout the whole match. Not going to name spots, but yeah, it was pretty damn impressive, I must say. I mean, I haven't seen him in person until then. It was just, it was a yeah. treat. I tweeted, I tweeted from ringside the 27 seconds of greatness. <laughs> oh, and indeed they were, you know. So, it was my first time ever announcing him, actually. I, I was uh, honored to do it. Yeah, and he, uh, he's going to be blowing up the independent scene. He, he, uh, he did something that not many do. He interacted with the actual iPad. When uh, he came into the ring and, uh, and I did his introduction, he actually stopped, looked down at the iPad, took it from me, like held it up like an iPad, and then put it back into my hand. So he's okay in Larry Legend's book. <laughs> I think he's okay in everybody's book, right? Yeah. When you have Bill Murray on your knee pad, I think you're good in anybody's book. <laughs> Which, by the way, I was sitting near his dad. His dad looks like Bill Murray. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it's dad on the knee pad, though. Yeah. Maybe it's an homage to father. There you go. Ever think about that one, Jason? Oh, all right. Fair no, enough. No, I guess not. No, man. 
But do you think we'll see more of Trent, or, uh, Trent question mark in NYWC over the next couple months? Yes. That, that yes. was the question I was asking. I know. Uh, uh, I believe so. Why not? Yeah. Exactly. I don't. I don't see his schedule being any other busy. Well, I know he's doing PWG at the end of the the month. Oh he's yeah, doing, David brought that up. He's doing All Star Weekend, which I'm pretty pumped about. He's gonna be facing Roger Strong the first night. It's gonna be sick. Nice. If you don't know PWG, you should. He probably will just make his rounds now. Why not? I mean, yeah, you know, he's Trent Beretta. Trent question mark. Trent question mark. <laughs> he always formally known as Trent. Yeah. Uh, all right. Is there any schedule? Is there any announced matches yet for Aftermath? If there is no announced matches yet, like we were saying, I could only assume Apollyon's going to get his rematch before we kind of set some new things up for Big O. I, I could see Big O not losing the title just yet. I, I don't see him being a transition champion. No, I don't see him either. I could see the, I could see the slap or uh, the Beaver Boys demanding uh, a rematch, but Vitko siding on Carr and uh, James' side and giving them someone like Fat Pat and Kip. Like just way, sort of, uh, shout out to Fat Pat for doing a suicide dive. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that that was a legend. That was a legendary tweet. Ringside. I did that one. I did that, one. <laughs> that was legendary. But I I think you would have to call that a homicide dive, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good, Jason. Golf clap. Golf clap. So, uh, marking out. What do you guys have on tab for this week's show? I'll I'll let you plug your show. I don't know. We haven't even thought of it yet. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to record it a day late, so it'll be out later on Saturday, so everybody knows that. But it's already already out on Saturdays. It'll just be we out may have a replacement later. For Brandon. Yeah, we may have a replacement for Brandon. Bro, you can't re- replace me. Yeah, nice shirt. Yeah, thank Where'd you. Where'd you get that shirt, Brandon? <laughs> Barbershopwindow.com. There you go. <laughs> That's where all the cool people get their wrestling hey. shows. Barbershopwindow.com. Hey, Ken's a fan of our show, so, uh, you know, gotta plug him as much as possible, you know? Yeah, I, I, I am not friends with the Barbershop Window guy, although I've shopped with them multiple times. Yeah, so have I. So have I. I, so I, wear their, I wear their support independent wrestling bracelet every day. I wear their yeah. shirts. Yeah, I wear the shirts to work. It's pretty awesome. People I w- don't have no clue what it is. I wear nothing but wrestling shirts. <laughs> it's true. It's not <laughs> he, a joke. <laughs> as he tells his head all crazy like and looks yeah. in the camera. I wear nothing but wrestling shirts. Yeah. My name is Brandon. <laughs> yeah, dude, I go to the bars. Hi, what's up? My name is Brandon. Ladies just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just walk away. <laughs> so we have we have no Twitter Dave and then we also have no game Brandon. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for giving me some material for the show this week. I might, Jason. I might not have, I might not have game, but I bowled a strike, and I haven't bowled in years, and I am perfection. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Are you mocking me with that mask over there? Yes. Uh, yeah. The oh, lag is so yes. intense. I have no idea when to speak, so I'm just not. Yeah, but just... yet you are. I hate David. <laughs> Uh, more, more aftermath matches. More aftermath matches. Thank you, Larry. Thank you for keeping the show going. Um, hmm. Yeah. What else is on card for aftermath? Well, you know what? You have to figure out who's going to be next in the line after Apollyon. So you could put Tony Nese versus Doc K, and the winner of that goes on to face, you know, Big O the next month, which could be, uh, which could be smart. Another tag team extra- extravaganza. I have to take this thing off. <laughs> Dude, my head's too big. It doesn't even fit in this thing. Come on, Christ. But Amen. yeah, in the words of Larry, I could see a, a definitely a tag team extravaganza. But um, what did you guys think of Bryce Young with Reckless and Wasted? What did you think of that? That yeah, keeps everybody saying, let's get wasted, so fine by me. And I will continue to get wasted. So... I like I, I like the reckless and wasted thing, and especially if you're trying to bring in new, you know, wrestlers and guys, as Dave's giving thumbs up, you you know, keep bringing in new guys. So you is, let... is reckless and wasted going to turn into the new like aces and eights where everybody's a part of it? No, nah. but that's just my thoughts. So 
Anybody else want to uh, talk about the matter? Frozen Brandon? Um, you know, I was hoping that we see more of the dirties back at NYWC, but since JT's out there with Bryce Young, I guess that was just like a once-in-a-lifetime Royal Rumble type, you know, deal. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. The, the, it was great to see the dirty rednecks out there. I'll agree. They were lacking Dirty Cherry. I think that's why people didn't react bigger. Dirty Cherry and uh, Big Daddy Franklin were big. Yeah, Brandon keeps freezing and then leaving the hangout, so. I think when I'm on, I freeze Larry, and I keep... when I'm not on, Daddy, Larry. Uh, yeah, that would have done it, I think. But it was just JT and Dirty Moore and uh, Jeff. Oh, Rose, thank so. God, if the whole If the whole mob. <laughs> <laughs> And now Dave is gone. Larry, I actually wanted to tell you, when I went to National Pro Wrestling Day, there was a guy standing outside, and he said, ever since CZW lost you, they've been downhill ever since. Yep. Your thoughts on Larry. All right. <laughs> so, anyway, more Aftermath matches. Yeah. Um, I, I would expect Tony Nese to do something. Well, what do you think is going to be in line for Papa Don? I mean, he did just beat Landon Mondo. Yeah. I, I, I was hoping to get a reaction from Larry on my comment, but it, it looks like Larry is just... Frozen. Short of words for, for once. Oh, Larry's gone. Yeah. Now he's gone. All right. I'm still getting used to this whole Google Hangouts thing. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> This is the wave of the future, man. This is what this is what Mark and Out needs to do because we're live wire. We're live. Anything could happen, as you can see. No. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then you have six uh, six hosts, and everybody's talking over each other and doesn't know what to say. Well, Larry is back. Larry, as I was saying before, I wanted to get your comments. When I went to National Pro Wrestling Day, somebody told me that ever since you got fired from CZW, it's been downhill ever since. Yeah. Well. <laughs> NYWC, NYWC is my home, you know, so that's just the way that I look at it. PWS, eh, CZW, eh, you know, ICW, eh, so, you know, I've got just more of my time to dedicate to NYWC unless I have to do a Muay Thai, so I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm fine with that. that, that that's got to be amazing, man. I'm getting to announce at Madison Square Garden, that, that's just got to be amazing. That was fun, but... Yeah, that was fun, but what about the dirties? <laughs> That's what I cut out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, you cut out about the dirties, how that was kind of a one-off situation. Yeah, if it would have been the whole mob, if the whole mob of dirties had come down with, like, the chickens and the hay, I think that it would have gotten a bigger <laughs> reaction and maybe we could have had them come back for good. I, uh, I brought up the question, the white light Kieran had debuted a, a couple months ago, now he's gone. What happened to Kieran, Larry? Uh, you know, some things are just best, best, better left unsaid, you know, <laughs> that would have out here and, you know, it just doesn't work out for everybody. Yeah, no, uh, best of luck in all your future endeavors. <laughs> I like, I like the way that you, you think, Jason Lennick. I like the way that you think. Well, thank you, Larry. I try. So, we have gone way over time, but thank you to everybody. I mean, we don't really have an ending time limit. I just feel bad that Brian just shut up, but thank you to Dave, Brandon, Larry, thank you. It, it's been an honor to have you on here. Yeah, it's been fun. Usually at, on Thanks. Wednesday nights, I'm not doing anything. I usually tune in, but just I never have thought to ask to actually join. Well, we, uh, we're honored to have you, of course. Come on, you... You, you've kind of given me my big break, Larry, so I, I have you to thank for anything. And you know that you're on deck April 27th for NYWC April Rain, right? Yes. He's never Brandon. Ever a different mask. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. Brandon <laughs> has returned, but he's wearing a different <laughs> mask. <laughs> it's just fine. I can't deal with it. All right. Peace, Larry. I think Peace out, Larry. Adios. I can't deal with it. Fuck it. <laughs> Later, Larry. What is he doing? I think Larry's trying to quit the hangout. You can follow Larry on Twitter at BLKLKP. Also, go over to YouTube and subscribe to Larry's channel. He posts videos all the time of all the different things Larry does. Yeah, because he's the man. Like being on Price is Right. Yes, absolutely. I thought I would have better luck with this mask. 
<laughs> oh god! <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god! Stay away out of control. <laughs> Look at him wearing an Ultimo Guerrero mask. How dare he? <laughs> oh my god! This this episode has been a, a clusterfuck. <laughs> I know, but sometimes those are the best episodes. Yeah, should I dance, guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Brandon, do the truffle shuffle. There you go. That's messed up. I'm leaving. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, what's next for Papa Don? Now he beat, he beat Jerry Lynn. I can't even think straight. He beat Jerry Lynn. What happens now? Well, put him, why don't you put him in a match with Mondo? Coming up. Yes. Mondo versus Papadon. Book that. Book that. Book that. Nobody's chanting? No. Sorry. <laughs> Does anybody else? Nobody else wants to see Mike Mondo versus Greek God Papadon? I would love to see it. Uh, nope. Brandon got cut off in the middle of his Papadon. He got pop. <laughs> he got popped off. He got, he got popped off. So, yeah. Aftermath at the end of March, March 30th. Apparently, first two rows will be $25. Everything else is 20 Well, I'll just, you know, I'll keep the wall company and hang out and sit on the wall. I find it hard to believe that they're going to garnish a crowd anywhere near Psycho Circus for the remainder of the year. Hey, it's your, it's your big show. I mean, that's what's going to cater people to come in. But now you have, you know, the big O. This as your champion, maybe people are like, oh, the big O's champion. He'll definitely be doing something. Well, let's uh, come in and watch him, you know. Exactly. Uh, shout out to Mike Marr over on the YouTube feed. He wrote back that Chi True Long Island story is coming back February 31st. <laughs> oh, yep. I guess I didn't have better luck with that mask. Uh, well, now you have a Laparka mask. Brandon, yeah. Chi True Long Island story is coming back. When no! Coming back? No, are you serious? Yeah. February 31st. Yeah, I know. It was supposed to come back November 32nd, and it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Yeah, I wanted to be Brokeski of the Week. <laughs> Brokeski of the Week. <laughs> we were on an episode. Yeah, I was, we were on two episodes. Two? I was, I was also on an episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. I was wearing this mask on both episodes. I was like... That was my only acting job ever. Weren't you in a short film, though, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, I was in a short film. I did voiceover work one time, too, but nobody saw that. My, yeah. my, my one line was, ah, good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's time to, uh, to end this shenanigans at least the live version of this, if you yeah. guys want to stay on and we can continue to shenanigans more. We can okay, yeah. with our hats on. Exactly. Yeah. Where's the grugger? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's I over there. I, I can't I, reach. I'm on my Volvo Zell at the moment. Dave, go fuck. for it. Dave, you know what to do. I know what he's... But anyway, can, continue. You can follow me on Twitter at NYWC underscore sign guy. I'm five follows away from 200. <laughs> Why don't we hear it? I didn't hear it. Dave, I didn't hear it. Neither did I. Ah, we can't hear him. Bam Aww. roasted. <laughs> Dave has no audio. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Who is this? No way. Everybody's favorite heel. Can it be? No. Wait for it. I I'm hearing meows. Who's got a cat? <laughs> There's a cat somewhere. Rich Frank. Oh, my goodness. Holy shit. This star-studded event just keeps getting better. Hey, Everybody's... It's, your, it's your award show, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the award show. So all your stars and sluts are coming out. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of sluts, Rich Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, good evening to you. You're my he's, another, he's another person who's mute. <laughs> <laughs> you have no audio. Rich, you have no audio. <laughs> Nothing at all, brother. He's wearing sunglasses inside. Yeah. <laughs> now Brandon is playing the harmonica. I can play any song you want. Hot Cross Punch. Except for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damien Sandow's theme music.
Yeah, right. Actually, Rich, yeah. do you have audio? I think so. How's that? Yes! Yeah. Here we go. Everybody's favorite heel, Rich Franklin. Hello, Rich. What's happening, guys? Long time no see. Long time no see. Why weren't you at Psycho Circus? Um, <laughs> well, see, I got a job with creative. Considering I have no writing experience, they hired me like that. Congrats. So, I was <laughs> up at Titan Towers. All right. Congrats. Also, I wanted to ask Edelman, you ordered two Vovozellas and you didn't use any of them. What was that about? All right. The second one came on Friday. I don't work Friday. Got to ship it to where I work. Who's Friday and why did they come on it? It's Friday, Friday. Got to get down on Friday. Everybody you know how long it took me to get that song out of my head? Anyway. Glee version was better. Rich, what did you, uh, what did, I'm, I'm assuming you've seen results from Psycho Circus and you've been watching this mess of a show. What did you think of Psycho Circus? I actually, I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of YouTube clips. Um, I thought it was probably the best NYWC event that has ever gone on. Um, and I gotta say, Mondo's match, you know, look, me and Mondo go way back, back in high school, but coming back from that injury, damn, that guy performed. <sighs> I will agree. I'll, I'll also point out Mondo has the greatest entrance video ever. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that, that was, was pretty a... pretty damn entertaining. It takes real balls to dye half your hair blonde. <laughs> it takes uh, it takes more balls to have two gingers on your show. That, that's uh... <sighs> that's that, that, this has got to be a record somewhere. Is Brendan yeah, sleeping? No, he's frozen. What? Brandon's frozen. We'll we'll just we'll just eject him. Um, Rich, I know you've got a you've got a special episode of the heel turn coming back, and you wanna you wanna plug that? Yeah, absolutely. We are doing it. Is set uh, the WrestleMania edition of the heel turn? Uh, <laughs> questions are starting to roll in. Awesome, awesome. Brandon is back with another mask. I don't get it. It's not working. I don't know. It just keeps throwing me off over and over again. <laughs> well, maybe if you take it off, maybe you'll have better luck. Do you forget Red Mysterio over here. <laughs> Red Mysterio, that's funny. Hey, listen, while we're on the uh, talks of the return of the heel turn, uh, I'm casually uh, inviting Marking Out and the Livewire crew to uh, make an appearance. We could talk off camera about how we'll work this, but... I we would will love to have you guys. Sure. We 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 would love to be a part of that, of course. Absolutely. So the next show, March thirtieth, will be aftermath. I'm sure. If it's anything like Backlash used to be to WrestleMania, it's probably going to be your Psycho Circus just rematch show. With some surprises, you never know. Speaking, Speaking of surprises, goodbye, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dave has turned into the Mark and Out logo. All right. Anyway, so I'm I'm gonna end this whole thing live. We'll keep talking off camera. Follow me on Twitter. I'm the NYWC Sign Guy at NYWC underscore Sign Guy. Follow Rich Franklin on Twitter at Rich. Uh, uh, go ahead, plug your own Twitter. I don't even remember. It's uh, R underscore Franklin twenty one. There you go. Follow the original heel on Twitter. Send him questions for the heel turn WrestleMania edition. You can follow Brandon and all of his masks on Twitter at BTTG161. Dave has no Twitter, and he also, it looks like he's showing his ass to the camera. Sick. Oh, that's right. You can follow Chris on Twitter at Chris Dog. Yes, and follow my band at CYN Band. That's the only reason I'm not here, that, why I'm on the show tonight. I'm usually band practice, but my drummer had to get surgery on his hand, so. Oh, well, that's uh, no bueno. Yeah, no. I, and you can follow Brian on Twitter at NYWC underscore Hebroski. Follow the show on Twitter at NYWC underscore Livewire. Thank you to Larry for jumping on at BLKLKP. We're closing in on 100 followers on Livewire, by the way. Yeah, we're closing in on 100 followers on the Livewire account. We're closing in on 200 on my own account. I'm at 195. Help me reach 200. 300. I don't know how. Uh, uh, Mark and Alex just closing in on uh, 5,700. You know, no, big no we, we passed it already. Really? I have... I have about 820 yeah. of them are porn stars, and about the other 700 are, I don't know, people from India. Do you want to trade? <laughs> people from India love me. Love me. Want to trade? I'll go with the porn stars. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so Give for everybody word. here, this has been OIBC Livewire. We're going to take a two-week hiatus. We will be back March 20th because there's nothing to talk about, and OIBC hasn't announced any matches yet. What do you want us to talk about? Yep, Psycho Circus was awesome. Thank you, NYWC, for putting out a good show. We wish yes. you the best of luck in your future endeavors. You don't need to do this. This isn't your show. Listen. Buy a Mark and Out t-shirt. Buy a Victor Cruz t-shirt. And as Brian always says, indeed, lightning, lightning has struck one, two, three, four, five. Lightning has struck six times. Good night, everybody. Seven times. Seven times. Oh, seven times with Larry. Thank Brandon. you, Spider-Man. No good motherfucker. Fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs>